What's the crack lads? We are back with another video of what is new today in V4.1. 10.25 gig for the update file today. They've added a couple of bits and pieces. I'm going to try and keep this video as concise as possible, but not have it like too long, super long. Um, because we will be live stream today. We're going to be doing a fairly beefy live stream today uh, and hopefully getting into everything, right? So from this here i'm just going to go into everything brand new you can see that they've changed the version from v4.0 to v4.1 and they obviously are going to be bringing a couple of bits and pieces to it and i'll show you what's coming over the course of v4.1's campaign as well because i do think and i said it yesterday i do feel that v4.2 we're always looking further on man we're always looking further it's like getting to the end of the road there's a turn you go past the turn and you're thinking okay now i'm at my destination no there's another turn a bit in the in the few in the in the distance so we're constantly chasing that destination i think of where e-football could potentially go but we do get a couple of new bits and pieces here right so we still have the national gardens but we do have the epic japan players there as well and of course we do get a little highlight video with that again these highlight videos they're very very similar they've slightly changed the style of them but that does give us a little bit of a look now i'm not going to go into too much detail with the video there we still get our login bonus we still get our campaigns that are ongoing until the 17th which is next week that is the 800 million downloads right we also get a free uh, delict and we do get the japan early update bonus as well as our phase rewards for the eFootball league right so let's start there right we do get a brand new announcement of the fifa e world cup 2024 this is crazy man this is your opportunity to show your skills for two exciting tournaments hosted by fifa e fifa e world cup 2024 on mobile and console and then also they talk about a 2v2 and 1v1 category right so this event here that you see right from the rip it is strange man i didn't think that i'd see like a fifa kind of style event in here with the fifa brand and stuff it's strange it is strange and uncharted waters i think um you know for konami to be in this right and i mean if you pick any of these teams here it says suitability for event it's obviously tied to whichever team that you pick and you have your three rounds here now this style of tournament that they've done it is very similar um to what they've done before but this is mixed with ai versus pvp so the first round that you play um it says choose a difficulty level that suits your skill and then obviously these are the rewards here right so the higher difficulty that you play on the more rewards you're going to get but you're still talking about twenty thousand or eight thousand gp it's not even worth talking about really um but yeah i mean it's listen I, I i'm intrigued as to see what the fifa license could hold i mean could there be potential that fifa and ea or ea Konami team up for eFootball. Apologies. Um, are they working on, you know, the 2K rumors true and all this sort of stuff, right? Um, but this with the PvP, you do get 50 eFootball coins there. And in this ranking one then as well, it says you cannot participate in that. Obviously, we need to go. But you can see all the details here of what you get. Round one, round two, and round three, right? So I do feel like that this is definitely a step in the right direction as to where they're going to go with the game. If they are doing licensed, uh, you know, stuff with fifa i mean it's going to be very interesting in other words we have the or in other ways we do have pvp we've got the co-op back for three days and all of these as well you've got the asian qualifiers the italian clubs and then these two are still ongoing here so not really much to be talked about there but that fifa thing is interesting lads let me know in the comments below what you think of that right we also have the eFootball league whatever phase you ended in the last one you will have now been reset we're back to division five we will be streaming today for a good while we get all our rewards and we start back in either division five if you finish in division one you'll be starting back in division four right other than that as i said uh we do have still a couple of campaigns going on here we've got new uh, steven gerrard manager pack i thought vincent company no i thought hansi flick no this is the pack list now that they've added it is stevie g from the 2020 2021 season it's a weird one i'll be honest with you it is kind of a strange one it's 500 coins for him and this is what you get with stevie g right so he's got 88 type possession and our possession game and 88 long ball um and an increase to dribbling plus one it is interesting i'll be honest with you it's an interesting choice in manager and that's going to go on for three months we still have de la fuente here as well as uh Stoichevich. um but other than that like that's pretty much all that they've added right now they have also added a couple of new bits and pieces which we'll get into um such as all of this still ongoing this is still the same stuff right but we do have a gracias andres iniesta style campaign here so once you clear all of these objectives you're going to get this free iniesta which is pretty decent he goes about 95 96 depending on how you train him we'll have a review for him we'll unlock him live on stream 
and we'll do a build for him as well for all of you guys. It's very, very simple, but it's going to take a bit of time. You need to score goals. You need to like, I think it's like, yeah, eight goals, um, eight matches that you need to win and then play AI matches as well. So you need to win and play eight matches. So I think the best thing to do would probably be like, yeah, if, we only need three. So I'd say obviously the goals won't be that difficult, but yeah, it's just going to take a little bit of time. The downloads are still ongoing as well here. All of these login bonuses are still going here. Um, the career objectives are still going as well. That's as normal. And then for the shop, they've added nothing into the shop. I don't think that they will until V4.2. Um, Vinny and Colwell are still there. The kits are still the same as far as I know here. Um, and as I said, like it's mostly about kind of like... I think the content now at the moment, lads, it is very kind of... Um, it's very like the, the stuff that they talk about, like change the algorithm, calculate a player's stats when applying uniform ratings for players, limited number of times you can perform select thrower, select kicker, update and additions. We'll go into faces and stuff in a separate video. We'll show you a couple here in a second. But it's general fixes. When performing a finesse dribble dri near the line, players are moving away to a violet and the ball got played. This only happens when smart assist is turned on. Again, they're still tweaking smart assist, which I just don't get. Specifically, it happens after selecting a skill up mission if there's an issue with the game being inoperable. Just small things. That's all they've literally said about V4.1. Nothing else. The rest of the stuff is going to be in your uh, inbox here. You get the free delict. You get Bruno. Obviously, that was free as well. And then the rest of the stuff, lads, is cards. That is pretty much it, man, as we know. And uh, I was going to say I have come to love by now, but I think the cards at the moment, man, it's just, a, it's just a strange one. We've got two player of the weeks. This is the player of the weeks here. We'll do a full review of them in another video that we do a couple of nice cards in there obviously Havertz gets the booster um Doran gets the booster as well for Villa and then obviously we do have the boosters in here as well we did predict Lewandowski Saka Valverde Toram Kovacic Retegoy um who else did we have I think that was it we got probably six that we said was going to come so it is interesting that they're still persistent with this and I don't think we'll see a change for a while with that however we do have new national team uh, players here as well we got these last year as well but obviously the fifa world cup is kicking on so we got this last last week the fifa e world cup um and we do have new nominating contracts here right as well so these are legacy of legend cards you can see a couple of young players and a couple of well-established stars there uh you've got schmeichel you've got timothy way you've got maldini you've got simeone you've got kansasau you've got marcus turam and these are available for your five star nominating contract if you still have one of those left um but yeah, other than that, let me just show you one thing. So this is what it looks like is going to be coming on Monday as well. So you've got Eto, you've got Marientes, and you've got to have Bojan Kirkic as well. Now there is a couple of players as well in the database, right? And there's a couple of new players that they've added. I don't know when we're going to see these, but if you want me to do a specific video on this, um, I can do it, right? So we had a couple of concept designs that we did, but it looks like there are going to be a couple of new cards coming as well new updated double booster packs again some of these are concept designs but the data is actually in there as well you know there's strings of data of new cards that are coming there's a new Kaka, there's a suarez there's a viera there's another new messi coming if you want a full video of those let me know in the comments below i don't want to make this video too long right and then last but not least we do have a couple of new faces as well i will do a full video there's 60 plus faces if you want a full video on the faces as well i will do that because it does take time to do them and obviously some people mightn't be in interested in know what faces. But we do have Yoro that is there for United. Um, there's a couple of the faces, lads, that are still, you know, they're not really high high kind of skill scan. Not skill, but high res scan. Like Main, who's got a new face that looks unbelievable. But then you have Ericsson, who still has his old school face. And you can still see, right, that it's kind of tw slightly tweaked. Um, but these aren't added. But compared to the new faces, there's a different kind of way that they're modeling the faces, right? Also, there is a course with Kamavinga. He's got a new touch up as well. Sometimes it's just hairstyle, as you see here, um, who's on the bench. And then, of course, we do have Endrick as well, who gets his new hairstyle there. Just a slightly modified. Um, but yeah, I mean, Endrick has got a face pretty, pretty quickly, in fairness, right? If you want a full video on that, let me know, okay? So, lads, that's pretty much it. I will be live streaming today, as we always do on a Thursday. And uh, let me know what you guys think. It's, to be honest with you, there hasn't been really that much change. There hasn't been a mention of anything with gameplay. Let's see what happens when we get on the pitch in the live stream later. But that's you guys up to date. Don't forget to smash that like button and smash the subscribe button. Subscribe to the channel. Daily content. Three episodes or three live streams a week. And we'll be back in a little bit. Talk to you then. Peace.